Good afternoon, YouTubers. Uh, today we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to assemble a hyper female uh, push bike or mountain bike, uh, dual suspension, uh, 66 centimetres in height to the seat. $119 from Big W. Um, for people overseas, like a Walmart, like a, a uh, quite a cheap discount store. Uh, not expecting much, but I'm going to go through it, we're going to assemble it, and it may assist uh, anyone out there that's uh, looking to purchase one of these bikes or looking to assemble one of these bikes in a bit of trouble. Wish me luck. Okay, so this is the uh, what you receive for $119. Down the side here, this is what we're going to try to achieve. One of those. So I'm just going to uh, take everything out of the box. And um, we'll go from there. Okay, so basically, I've taken everything out of the uh, out of the packaging and box. It's very, very heavily packaged. Probably took about 10, 10 minutes to get everything uh, out of the packaging. Uh, we had cardboard all around the frame to protect it, transit, etc. But as you can see, it's very assembled out of the box. So the chain's on. All the cables are installed. Uh, basically, what we've got to put on is the seat. The pedals, which came in a separate box, so just be aware of that. Uh, the front wheel, right here. And also the handlebars. So the handlebars here need to go into the headstand there. But basic, but really, I don't think it's that much to install. This is the uh, owner's manual that comes with it. 49 pages long, so there seems to be plenty of detail. Um, on how to assemble the bike and also maintenance moving forward. So, let's get started. Okay, now funnily enough, what I've discovered after going through the manual more thoroughly is it's very generic. So there's steps on here that don't, don't, uh, aren't required on this bike. Um, and basically, we're gonna skip step one. So the step one is front fender assembly. We're gonna have a front fender on this bike. So this may cause confusion think uh, moving forward we're moving through this manual but anyway step two is the front wheel assembly now I'm going to show a few tricks here which I've learned in the past first trick is and the reason we're doing it is because this front brake is already installed from the factory straight out the box now the issue you're going to have is getting this wheel mounted on the forks and the tyre through those little brake fibers or brake pads you can call them I suppose rubber brake pads um, what trick I've always done is deflate the tyre. So all you got to do is take the cap off and deflate the tyre with that valve there. And that means you can squeeze the tyre through the uh, brake pads. The next trick we're going to do is we're going to take this nut off and that off. That's like a little washer and it'll um, sit in the frame. We're going to take both sides off. I'm just going to demonstrate here how easy it can be. You can struggle with this uh, if you don't do those two things. The matter does not say do those two things, but I'm saying do it. It'll be a much easier job. So like this, we're just going to slide it in. And we're going to squeeze the tie there. Squeeze, 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 shove, shove, shove. Going through the spokes, and the forks. And there we go, we're sitting in. Then, we'll replace this washer which goes just in that little hole there and then that will thread on and do that, do that hand tight for now I'll do the same on the opposite side, exactly the same now we're just going to tighten these two nuts, one on each side 15 mil ring spanner is all we need for this and uh, the manual is calling for a uh, torque of 30 to 35 newton meters which, you know, is about right, but we just want to do them tight, you know, so I'm not going to torque it at this stage, but we're just going to have it very tight, just, just as I'll demonstrate here. It's going to get it tight. It's going to get it too tight, so it's tripped, but we're going to get it tight. Obviously, this is your front wheel. We don't want that coming off while we're riding. But um, I know a lot of people don't own a torque wrench, so I'm not going to confuse everyone with um, newton meters and foot pounds and, you know, Everything like that. Okay, so now the front wheel is on. I've actually turned the bike over, facing it, facing against that column there. And um, 
Yeah, now it's time. We've actually skipped to step six. Um, step uh, three, four, and five are all about reflectors, which have already been installed. So, um, yeah, a lot, a lot of these steps, uh, steps can be skipped on this bike model, as it uh, does a lot does come pre assembled. But the handlebar will go in this headstand here, right at the top. Now, if we have a look here, there's a little screw, or a large screw, that uh, looks like an 8 mm Allen key. And that will then pull this nut in to secure it. So it works like that. So as I tighten that nut, it's going to pull this in to make it tighter. Okay, so I've put the bike on the ground now, just to make it a bit easier for me. Basically all we're doing here, is you've got the handlebars, everything's already connected. I'm just going to slide it into the headstand here. It's just going to go in like that. And then we've got a 6mm Allen key, 8mm, not 8mm, 6mm. I'm going to get it straight. I'm going to run this at the lowest setting because my wife is quite short, but um, we can definitely raise it up and down if we require. So I'm going to give this quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of tension because the last thing we want is the handlebars coming out of the headstand. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got the handlebars installed. The next step is to install the seat. So it's basically just going to slide into this shaft here, down here. And this is an adjustable bolt or a quick, quick release uh, bolt. So the seat can be adjusted um, out on in the field, so to speak. Um, change, the, change the height as required. So it's going to slide in like that. Just slides in. Simple as that. And then we're going to hold the nut at the back here, and we're going to turn it. Once we feel like it's got enough pressure on it, we then fold that in. All right, now what that does is increase the pressure, then the seat can't move. So that's basically what you want to do. You want to make sure that's extremely tight, because uh, no one's going to enjoy trying to sit down with no seat. So the next step is to install the pedals. Now the pedals obviously uh, have a left and right, but they actually do have a left and right as far as which side to install them. They're not just generic on either side. So this is the left, as you can see here. We've got the L for left, matching with the L on the side of the crank there. Okay, this just threads on. There's a threading side there. So we're just going to do this here. And that's just threading in quite nicely the other way. Right. It's going to do as much as we can by hand. I think it'll be tricky because obviously the pedal wants to spin. We need to grab onto the nut itself. And we need to tighten. Now I've got these uh, these wrenches here called Nipex. They are extremely good. Um, if you can afford it, I just to buy, buy a set of these. They are fantastic. Off eBay is usually the best place to get them. Um, I'm not sure if they're available in Australia at the moment. But they're very, very good. So basically, you could also use a uh, Shift up, which I'd say most people would have to do. Um, I'm just going to grab on here and just tighten it by hand. I'm just going to try to hold the pedal and just give it a nip like that. Don't give it too much, but you want to have it so it's definitely not going to come off. This is something I'd probably check up in the first ride or two to make sure uh, it hasn't come off. Now, what we'll do, flip the bike around and we install the right side. Okay, so I've installed the uh, right hand side pedal and now the bike is complete. We've, uh, we've inflated the tyres, both front and rear, to 50 psi, um, which is what the uh, owner's manual recommends. And we're right to go. So, all in all, I mean, closing, I think it was a very, very easy um, install. A lot easier than what I, uh, I thought, thought would be the, uh, the process. So it took me probably about half hour to 45 minutes. Um, I do have a bit of technical knowledge, but it could take longer. But I think for anyone um, with a decent set of handles or a basic set of handles really, um, definitely achievable. What I would recommend is after the first couple of rides to go over all the bolts, because uh, they do tend to become loose, especially in setting in. Thanks for watching guys, have a good day.